I just know it's because I wouldn't do it. Jane was prepared to but risk anything to win Ian's love. Why did anything you have to go? Why? I did everything I could to keep him. Can I help you? There aren't enough to respect me afterwards. I'm asking you to marry me. The cattle market. Are you all right? Fine. Never better. Georgeson, Maynard, Taylor, and Saul. Ooh, it's about time. I didn't plan it this way. We're three already, and the youngest not out of nappies, and your lunatic are going for it again, wouldn't they? It was my fault. Should have been more careful. I was still breastfeeding. I thought that'd stop it. Some hope. Well, it'll run the family off nicely anyway. And the bills. They cost a fortune, you know, kids. Food, clothes, toys, and the shoes. The price of them. Got a slog all day at some rotten job to keep them, then you never get the chance to see them. Where's the sense in it? You're first, is it? Yes, we're really excited. Oh, it is exciting first time round, no doubt about it. After that, it's a different story. Jason, don't do that, can you? Come on. There's a good boy. She doesn't seem very excited about it. Hmm? Kath. She seems so down. She's tired. You get that way at the end. And Kath does neither. He never talks about it at all if he can help it. He's just not used to the idea yet, that's all. After all this time. He is excited about the baby. In his own way. And he's disappointed as well. Disappointed? But it happened the way it did. Well, why does it matter how it happened? So long as it's what Catherine wants. And what about what your father might want? He had very high hopes for Catherine. We both did. And what do you suppose all those sacrifices are about? All those extra classes? They were an investment in her future so that she could get a decent job, so that she could travel. Instead of which, she chucks in school at 16 and gets married by 19. Still, we're not beaten yet. We'll just have to pin our hopes on you, won't we? Just from here. Hi. Visitor for your face sake. Hi. Hello. Oh, Polly, how nice. How are you? Oh, fine, thanks. You? Yes. And your mum? 
Mm, she's fine too. That's good. Right, I'm finished. Get us on if you want some coffee. Thanks. Do you want some coffee, Michael? Why not? Mandy? I've been making it. I thought you'd do one of your demos. She's all involved with the six-year girls. Equal rights and all that. Yeah, I heard about that. How's it going? Well, we're still trying to get the teachers on our side. Oh, some hope. We'll get nowhere without them. Since when have you been so interested? Well, since we had the same aggro at our school. Well, except then it was about options and who decides them. The teachers reckon it's finally their decision and we reckon it's ours. That's hardly the same. It's exactly the same. They want to be treated as individuals. So do we. Exactly. All these equal rights. There's too much banner waving and talk, if you ask me. It's been going on for months. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm here. We're having a meeting to decide where to go next, before school tomorrow. Sixth year common room, OK? I've got my paper on to do. Yeah, well, you threw that by eight. All right, if I can. Great. It's an Auburn's Youth Club, yeah. Huh? Oh, they're great. They've got all the new gear there. Really? Hmm. You should come along sometime. Yeah. When's the next one? Oh, it's one on Thursday night. Right. Do you want to meet me outside about 7 o'clock, then? Right. How about it, Mandy? Are you coming, too? As long as I'm not in anyone's way. No chance. Listen, push off, OK? <laughs> right, first stop, we've had a meeting with the teachers via the school council. An informal mm -hmm. meeting. Right, an informal meeting. The teachers are sympathetic, but they raised a load of practical oh, stuff. Yeah, usual. Like there not being enough textbooks and equipment for girls, along with boys, to do technical drawing, engineering, etc. Mm -hmm. So if you want no support... Formal support. Right, formal <laughs> support. Then we've got to get the practical problems out of the way first. In other words, right. we've got to provide the books and equipment ourselves. Oh, oh, do yeah. that. By earning the money to buy them. Oh, Look, just yeah. hear us out, OK? Joe's old man's on the council. Oh. It seems they want a mural painted on the wall by the car park. Something cheerful, to give a good impression of the old town. And to discourage a graffiti artist. <laughs> yeah. sure. And she's talked her father into putting us up to do it. Oh, the right. council have agreed. Providing we come up with an idea, a plan they approve of, they'll supply the materials and give us a hundred quid. Is that all? Have oh, you got any better oh, ideas? Yeah. Look, we talk long enough. It's time to show we mean business. Right. Right. It'd be good publicity. I mean, the local press, well, they're bound to get hold of it. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone will know why we did it, won't they? Yeah. So, we need any budding artists to volunteer. And those who aren't can still help. So come on, roll up and give us your name. Or would you sooner forget the whole damn thing? No. Oh, well, I'm really it's just that... Yes. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Mandy, come on. Oh, for Pete's sake.
I'm really glad you can make it, Amanda. Me too, Gary. Hey, you're really good. Not so bad yourself. You're quite a team, don't you? I always knew we would. Can you get any? No. Oh, thanks. That's great, that is. The lift isn't working. It's half a mile to the nearest shop. What do you expect? If you want it, you should get it in your dinner hour. Oh, yeah, what dinner hour? Last week, you was on about us having no money, so I'm working straight through, and I... I've had a poxy day, and I've come up to an empty fridge, and you're in one of your sulks. I'm not sulking. I'm just not up to running errands for you. Well, I've got a few problems and all, you know. Like hanging on to me job and earning enough money to keep us. You seem too wrapped up in yourself to think about that, don't you? <sighs> the door's open. Yeah, well, don't expect the red carpet routine. There's no food, no drink, and your sister's in one of her moods. I'll get us a takeaway. Don't bother on my account. Look, you've got to eat I'm something. I'm not hungry. Well, I'll go without then. Do what you like. waiting. It's getting to us. We're just not handling it. Oh, help me up, will you? Oh. Handling what? Any of it. No, the whole thing. I look out here in the morning sometimes and I see girls of my age on their way to work. Meeting people and going places. And then there's Terry's mates. Well, they're all still single. Planning holidays. Trips to the football. He's either stuck at work doing overtime or stuck in here with me going on at him. Well, why do it then? Perhaps... Because when we fight, it's the only time I feel really alive. Oh, what is it? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh! Oh! Terry! Terry! Terry, it's Catherine! I think she started! You want Gary to notice you, don't you? minutes later than when you last asked. Maybe I should get round to the hospital. Keep Terry company while he waits. I'm sure he'd prefer to be on his own, Frank. What have you done to your face? Put some makeup on. At this time of night? Just trying something out. Yes, you can say that again. Shut, Shut up! A rainbow. <laughs> really to... Well, I'm off to bed. 
Give us a shout if you hear anything. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Bobo the clown. <laughs> How's keeping him? He's more nervous than we are. Why didn't you go up, Frank? Work tomorrow. Yeah. Well, you be sure and... Right then. She'll be glad when it's all over as well. She said the waiting was getting them down. You feel odd about being an aunt. Imagine how they feel about being parents. I mean, they're not much older than you are, are they? And having babies. Well, children. It's not always the pretty picture people like to paint. Sometimes, if you're not very careful, they can come between a couple. Yes? D D Amanda, I can't hear. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, yes. And Catherine? Oh, that's wonderful. Um, no, 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 you go ahead. You, yes, call your, yes. All right, we'll speak to you later. Bye-bye. It's a girl, seven pounds, three ounces, oh, and oh, Catherine's oh, all right. Oh, Isn't that great. lovely? Oh, all no, this waiting. Oh, that's great. Oh, oh I was so oh, worried about the whole thing. Yes. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, Uncle Mike. Yes, well. It's time we got some sleep, Grandma. Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, are you locked up? I'm um, in. I don't know. Well, not Diana. Every other baby in here seems to be called that. The place is stiff with them. She always as good as this. Some chance. She's got a pair of lungs in her, I tell you that. Oh. Mum and Dad are coming up tonight. Oh. Dad's bringing his camera. <laughs> People always go soppy over babies. Especially men. It's probably because they don't have to look after them. Well, what does Terry think of her? Love at first sight. I'll be lucky to get a look in. What's up? Just something Mum said last night. What? About having babies and stuff. Mm. How it can come between a couple. You wouldn't come between anyone, would you, eh? You're so lovely. Easy. Oh, that's great, Joe. It's high enough now, so once we get the planks on, we can start. Come on, Dal. Give him a hand. All right. Look, if you're going to dance about like that, you'll fall off and break your neck. Oh, you let's get the paint doing the painting, man. Anyone can do that. I'd rather stop here. Oh, come on, you're about the only person here who can draw a straight line, aren't you? We're allowed to choose what we want to do, aren't we? I thought that was the point. What would you know about the point? You never bloody listen, do you? Says who? You think this is just a game, don't you? It's not. If we don't do a good job of it, we don't get paid. Since when are you suddenly in charge? What is going on? I just don't like being given orders. I simply said she should be one of the painters. That's all. How about it, Amanda? You're probably the best one we got. Yes, man. No, man. Three bags, four, man. Of course, you prefer the company of my brother these days. You've made that pretty obvious. So are you. Look, 
Andy. Michael, it's for you. go in there and join the Mamanda instead of skulking about in here. They didn't exactly ask me to, did they? Well, you didn't exactly give them a chance to, did you? Friendships like anything else, Amanda, you have to learn to share it. Well, so long as you feel uh, better having talked it over with someone, Tony, that's the point, really. Yeah, well, I do. I mean, definitely. Absolutely. Yep. I mean, if Great. you have... So that's what it's all about. OK, we're coming up to uh, 1 a.m. here on Problem Phone-In. We've got the news in a minute. But uh, first, we've got June on the line. Hello there, June. Hello. What can we do for you, then, June? Um, well, I, I don't know where to start, really. I, I've got so much to tell you. Um, I, I've been married for, um, nearly 20 years now. And, and they've been good years. E except now. Um, we don't seem to be able to, to talk to each other or, uh, touch each other. I, I cook the meals, clean the house. He appreciates what I do, and I know he does. Um, he just doesn't seem to be able to appreciate me. I mean, me, me as a person. Um, if, if my husband doesn't respect me, um, if, if my family don't respect me, how am I supposed to respect myself? Now that Gary's popped the question, will Amanda say yes? What lies in store for Catherine and her new baby? Will Michael and Polly make it together? To be continued. Mm -hmm. 